What's up guys? It's Thursday. I'm really excited about this workout that we're going to be doing tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's workout, the main focus is going to be taking the skills away and just working on full body movement. So we're training upper body, lower body, and we're training your abs. I'm going to be in a constantly beautiful flow. Again, I just did this workout. I'm pretty drenched as you can see. I did run for 30, I think 33 minutes about before the workout, but again, it was a fantastic, really cool, simple workout. So we're gonna have four blocks. First block is gonna be five minutes, doing as many times as you can, then seven minutes, then nine minutes, then 11 minutes. You're gonna realize that the first two blocks, you guys are gonna be doing a lot of rounds because it's pretty simple exercises, and as we go along, uh, you're gonna be doing a little bit less rounds, okay? So your first station, guys, is going to be your first five minutes, and you're going to perform four exercises. The first exercise is going to be your burpees, then you're going to have your kettlebell swing and your goblet squats. Okay, so let me demo that quickly for you guys. Here we go. All right, so I'm starting with my burpees, guys. Very set. Uh, that's the burpee. Main purpose, purpose of the burpee is full body integration. Training up your body, your lower body, and definitely cardiovascular training. As you guys know, setup is going to be feet outside the hips, chest up, long spine, hands in between your legs. You're going to kick the legs back, perform a beautiful push up, come back into the squat, and jump up. You're only going to have four reps, guys. The main purpose, as I told you, is going to be. Full body integration. So I want you guys to go for range and speed. That is going to be our overall focus of this exercise today. Next one is going to be your kettlebell swings, which I know most of you guys have seen it. Okay, main purpose is going to be now maintaining high intensity training while you're training your posture, your training. Set up, feet just about in between my leg, as you can see. I'm going to grab the kettlebell, chin in, long spine, swing the kettlebell, and bring the kettlebell to about chest level. Again, because the focus is full body integration, I want you guys to make sure you embrace the abs and you're pushing through your hips. It's only four repetitions, okay? Cues will be pop your hips and make sure you quickly do this movement because it's just four reps. Biggest progression is going to be your load, okay? So increasing the load. Again, I'm showing you guys with decent loads, nothing too heavy, nothing too light. All right, guys, next one is gonna be a goblet squat. So what I would love to see is on the last kettlebell swing, transition to your goblet squat. And I'll show you how that looks like. So my last one, a catch for my goblet squats. Right, guys, main focus of this is going to be training my legs while increasing cardiovascular training. So I'm going to squeeze my elbows in, I'm going to lift my chest, go into that beautiful squat, and I'm going to push myself up. All right, so as you know, the biggest common falls is people bring the knees in. So make sure your toes are out, your knees are out, your chest is up, and we are not going for speed. We're going for beautiful momentum, great range of motion, so we can work on your strength as well as your conditioning. It's only four reps, guys. Cues, long spine, knees out, chest up. So that is your first station. Second station, we're gonna go into seven minutes, and you guys are gonna be performing six repetitions. For the first exercise, it's going to be your push-ups. It's just six of those, guys. Main purpose, upper body strength. We're going to be decreasing the cardiovascular training a little bit, of course. I'm going to be working on just your strength. Set up, hands just about outside of your shoulders or shoulders level, feet nice and together. I like to bring my elbows squeezed in for this one so I can work on my triceps. From that beautiful plank, you're gonna drop all the way down, push all the way up. If you have great range of motion, feel free of getting a little bit of speed because it's only six reps. Next exercise is going to be your one arm kettlebell swing, which as you know, looks just like this. So the way you are alternating one arm kettlebell swing. Main focus the same of the kettlebell swing, but I alternating right and left. So you're gonna be working on those push your muscles. Set up, now the kettlebell is gonna be facing this way. So I just turn the kettlebell, thumbs are gonna be back, 
holding on the handle. I'm going to swing between my legs and then as I go up, I'm going to turn my bum facing in. I like to alternate right and left. If that's too much skills for you, stay on one side, then do the other side. Again, it's only six repetition. Cues that I would say to you guys is just make sure your shoulders are down and have a long body. I guess next one will be your drop squats. Okay, main purpose is actually decreasing load. Okay, so we're not acting uh, so much on, of course, increasing load. We're really decreasing load and increasing the speed. So my setup feet underneath my hip, okay, chest is up. I'm just gonna pop into a deep squat. I like to put my hands down so I know I have good range of motion. I come back in and I alternate. Every one is one, so you only got six of those. Biggest common falls are letting your chest come forward, so make sure your chest is up, your knees are out, to have a long, long body, abs are embraced and tight. Again, guys, it's just six, so I do need range, and I do need speed. All right, so we've got the next two blocks. The next block is going to be nine minutes long. You guys are going to perform eight repetitions. For the first exercise, we're going to go into those plain circles, which looks just like this. For today, you're actually going to be doing 16 reps, one, one, two, two, and so on. Main purpose, we'll really train your abs, guys, so we want to make those circles nice and big. So my setup is going to be in a plank position. Of course, I'm getting a little bit of shoulders. Feet is together or just about the level of the hips. I'm going to perform a circle from the in to the out, from the in to the out. Everyone is one. I want you guys to really embrace the belly and relax the shoulders. Those are going to be my cues. Progression is making the circle even bigger, making sure that you're still nice and stable in through your back. Next one, you're going to go into your med ball power crunches. If you don't have a med ball, a dumbbell is totally okay. Even a kettlebell is totally okay. So you're definitely going to do this workout. So, med ball power crunches. Alright guys, any purpose? Shoulders and abs. Okay, pretty simple. My setup is going to be my knees bent, my chest is up, med ball towards my chest. I'm going to slowly release myself down and I'm going to power up and slowly release myself down. You're going to be doing eight of these. You're going to realize in the beginning it won't be as bad as you go along with the butt. Med ball is going to get heavier. Now, if you have great range of motion of your arms and great control, it is okay to increase your load. It depends on your purpose. If your purpose is mainly abs, go light on the load. If your purpose is also shoulders, increase your load. All right? All right, guys, next one is going to be your speed skaters. Fantastic light exercise. Main purpose, we're training on a sagittal plane. We're getting some great AD and AD ductors. Of course, training great stability as well. So my setup is going to be staying tall. I'm going to pop into one side, reaching back leg and back arm in the same direction, and alternating to the other side. Okay, biggest common falls is lean falls. So make sure you still have a nice long spine. Your chest is still up. Range of motion is what I'm looking for. That will be your progression. So when you guys go laterally, try to sink into that beautiful squat, keeping that chest nice and tall. Right and left is going to be one, so you're actually going to have double the number, okay? So you're going to have 16 repetitions. Biggest progression is going to be range and speed. You should be able to do them seamless because the only loads that you're using is your own body load, okay? Going to your last station, guys. We're going to go now into your 11 minutes and 10 reps. So now we're going to start on your animal squats, which looks just like this. I'll face this way so you guys can see it as well. Okay, main purpose of that, guys, is going to be shoulder stability, abdominals, and leg strength. So my setup is in a plank position, shoulders are down and away from the ears, feet is just about outside of the hips, like I am squatting. I'm going to reach your opposite hand, opposite toes, come back, and switch. Everyone is one, so you only actually have. 10 repetitions, cues, long body, shoulders down. Make sure that when you, when you reach back, you're stable on your shoulders. If you're not very stable, reach the knees or simply don't lift the hand. You can simply go into a squat and back to a plank. Either way, you're gonna be doing 10 total squats. All right guys, last 
two exercises of the day. So now you guys are gonna need a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or a med ball. I'm gonna be using a light dumbbell just because it's what's nice and close to me. So I'll show you guys how that looks like. We're gonna go into a dumbbell V sit. Alright team, main purpose is going to be stability in your shoulders, working to your anterior, your abs, and your lower back. So my setup, I'm going to reach my leg up first, okay? And I'm going to reach my dumbbell up with my shoulders off the floor. From here, I'm going to drop my legs and drop my arms at the same time. Reach back and then pull everything back in. You're going to realize some of you guys are going to feel like there's too much pressure in your lower back. If that's the case, bend your knee. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to reach forward reach back, you can extend your leg now, and reach back in. All right guys, every one is one, you only have 10 repetitions. This is gonna be the time that I want you guys to slow it down and focus on your control. Okay, so cues, shoulders down, long spine, embrace the abs, that's gonna be the biggest cues. Progression is going to be control and range of motion, be able to lift your shoulders, be able to extend your legs. Again, you can also increase your load depending on how your shoulders feel when it comes into stability. All right, guys, last one. We're going to have your med ball burpees. So, again, if you don't have a med ball, you can do this with just your body weight, and I'll show you guys in just about a second. So, it looks just like this. Main purpose, maintaining that full body integration, taking the push-up away since we already done push-ups in the beginning of the workout. So my setup is going to be my feet outside of the med ball. Hands are going to go to the med ball. Feet is going to jump back, back into a squat. Now I'm going to grab the med ball. I'm pretty much going to either swing with my arms straight if the med ball is light, or I'm going to curl and press if the med ball is too heavy. If the med ball is light, it's not gonna hurt your back. If the med ball is too heavy and you're trying to swing, it might be too much for you. So make sure you guys know that, okay? Every time you guys jump and then swing, you will be one rep. You guys only have 10 of those. I do want to make sure that you guys are increasing cardiovascular training and overall endurance. All right guys, so like I said, biggest progression is going to be speed and load depending of how strong your lower back is. All right, team, so that was your last exercise of the day, okay? So this is what I really want you guys to commit right now, is just about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, exactly. And this is what I'm doing right now, right? So tomorrow morning, when you guys are doing this workout, I want you to try to do the workout exactly at the same time as you would if it was a regular day. So if you're on my 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8.30, 10 a.m., whatever team, can you wake up and be ready just like you would? Because guess what, guys? Maybe not tomorrow, but soon enough, we will get back to normal. And tomorrow, I want you to make that a mind challenge. Can you wake up, put your clothes on, and be ready like you were getting ready to see me? All right, team, that is your challenge of your Friday workout. Commit to the same exactly time. Doesn't matter what's going on, what the kids are doing, whatever you're doing, does not matter. Commit to it. All right, team, I miss you guys very much. Um, some days are rough, some days are easy. Yesterday was rough, today is rough. Whatever it may be, but you gotta wake up and be positive about it, right? So I'm looking forward to see you guys soon. I hope you have a fantastic day. Ready? Three, two, one, go.